this is the um, seaside town of Anzior, which is about, I don't know, 30 kilometers after where we were on the coast. Look. Um, this is the town of Neptuna, which when translated means Neptune, and it's the origins of the stories about Neptune and the sea, I believe. And it's an old medieval with um, a castle and lots of very rickety old buildings and narrow lanes. It's hard to park here yeah. and drive. And we all know that Neptune rules Pisces, so oh. whatever that has to do with Piscean people that come to this neck of the woods, I don't know. This is the port. We tried getting a ferry to some island that's an hour out there, but we couldn't find a place to park, so we gave up. So now we're here, in Neptunian looking, well, or I said for Pisces, that sounds stupid, so I won't say it too much more. And that's a castle that's like um, old. And they built apartments in the side of it. figured out that we need cash here so it took us about two hours to find that ITM machine. Wait an ITM. Cash. And now we've got a meal. A vegetarian meal. And we're gonna pay sixteen euros to um, get one of those so for twelve euros. Twelve euros, okay. So you get a chair and, and a brolly and have a little bit of a dip in the ocean. There is somewhere I think it's Neptune Beach. And you see these guys one after another trying to sell all their beads and stuff but I never bought it, sell anything. This one's got a whole dress rack he's carrying kind of stuff. Oh, that's nice. she's very interested in that, all those dresses on that rack. This one's the ultimate selling things along the beach. He's got a canvas top and he's got a whole rack. We've seen one right after another. The New York hat. So if you want a New York hat, come here to southern Italy so you can buy them down on the beach. And they always stop, there's four girls on the corner there, and every single person with anything to sell stops there, one right after another. The four girls are so heavily tattooed that I think somebody should just sell more tattoos. 